Okay, so welcome to this screen recording, this lesson on time blocking. I have a podcast episode that is connected to this, so I will make sure to leave a link for you. You can find both of those at ashleyvarner.com slash time blocking. So if you check that out, you can make sure to hear the reasoning for why we want to get efficient in our in the way that we schedule our time. Because the truth is we need to make time for the purpose that God has for our lives. We have to make time to honor his priorities. And one way that we can do that is by getting efficient through our scheduling. And we have all been given 24 hours in a day. We have all been given the same amount of time, but the way that we use that time really matters. So let's talk about how you can use time blocking to get more efficient. The first thing that you need to do, and I am giving this tutorial in Google Calendar because I feel like it's the most universal calendar that everyone probably already has access to. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a new calendar. If you go to other calendars, you can click add and create a new calendar. It asks you to name it. So mine is going to be time blocking. And then you can pick your time zone if you want and then press create calendar. Once it creates the calendar, then you will be able to see it in the list of calendars here. You can see this green one here. And one thing that I really like is that you can coordinate, you know, whatever colors you want. If you don't really like green, you can pick purple or whatever. So I do recommend picking one that is lighter because as, and you're going to see how this works a little bit later in the video, but you want something that's not going to take up a huge amount of visual space. So if you choose a light color, maybe a gray, something like that, that might work for you. You can even do custom colors, man. They really let you do customize it the way that you want. So whenever you have these calendars, this is a calendar I don't use all the time. I'm just using for this purpose, but you can have plenty of calendars on the side. You can have calendars for your home and family and all of that. And there are way more tutorials in the Thriving Mom Club that talk about calendars and tasks and those kind of things. But let's just talk about time blocking really quick. The first thing that you need to do is schedule out time for God's priorities. So the first thing that he has that is his priority for you is his relationship with you. And you might schedule that time. Say you wake up at six o'clock. If you click here, it brings up a tab right away. So you can put in time with God. And one thing that I like about this feature is you can make options. So if you want it to be, maybe you're starting out small, there's nothing wrong with that. So you want between six and 615 to be your time with the Lord. Then you can list that here. Now I usually recommend you pick these time blocks that are between two and three hours long. So you might want to do a six to nine time block, but the purpose of this is so that we can honor God's priorities. So even if you start with a small amount for your time with the Lord, I want that to be its own time block. I don't want anything else to come into that time for you with him. Then you can choose options. So maybe you want to do, you want to repeat it. You want to repeat it daily, maybe weekly on Sundays, whatever it is. Then you can do a, even custom ones. So for this, we're going to do daily. We want to spend that time with the Lord every day. And there's our time blocking for that. Now, if on Sundays you wake up a little bit later and you want to put that here, you can change that and do just this event. Okay. Maybe you wake up at eight on Sundays and the rest of the time you wake up at six. So that's your first time block. The next one that you want to do, and I'm going to unclick that. So maybe it'll automatically pick time blocking. The next thing you want to do is create a time block and maybe it says morning prep. In the description, you can actually put what you're doing. So maybe you're going to exercise, you're going to take a shower, you're going to make breakfast for the family, and you're going to get all the kids to school. Maybe that time is between 6.30 and 8 o'clock. So you could put this time block from six to eight and include your prayer time at that time. What I don't want to happen is for all these other priorities to take precedence over your time with the Lord. That's why I recommend that time being very specific. So you're going to save that and you can double click on it 
to edit it if you want to repeat that every weekday and save. And now you have your next time block. Next is going to be your maybe your time at work. So you if you work from 8 until noon, then you'll put work. I also do if I am scheduling maybe that's your lunch time but you also have time for appointments so I can put work and then put available for appointments so if people call and they want to set up an appointment with me my assistant knows that I'm available for appointments at this time so she's not going to schedule appointments here because that might be where I'm running my errands or whatever and then you might do a time block from five until let's say eight and these are your evening tasks that might include making dinner maybe this is the time where you go grocery shopping or just helping the kids with their homework you can schedule more things within the time blocks but what you're doing is you're making specific times for that you might also want to do instead of putting grocery shopping here maybe every Tuesday afternoon after work is whenever you run your errands. So between five and seven, you are running errands around town. And then that would be where you would do grocery shopping, etc. So you know the rest of those other days, if you have errands that you need to run, you'll schedule them on Tuesdays. You can always go back to these and edit them and repeat them pretty customizably. So if you want to do one on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or every weekday, you can do those things. They have some listed here for you, though. So then it lists it, and it continues on for further weeks. The reason these are lighter is because I'm doing this on Friday, and we're scheduling before, you know, in the past. So you might have specific things maybe on Thursday afternoons or let's cancel that, maybe on Wednesday evenings, you're at church. So you have a specific time between, say, 6.30 and 9 that you spend time at church. So you know every week that is your time block for that. Another thing that you can do is create time blocks for your sleep. Now, some people might not like this, but I really like to plan my sleep <laughs> and that sounds kind of crazy but if I can list this and I'm going to do this for every day it helps me to remember that that's important oops except I didn't title it so you can go back and add sleep okay this helps you to realize that that's an important part of your routine. That's an important part of your day. The Lord wants you to take care of yourself. He wants you to be equipped and ready and energetic to do the things that he's called you to do. And part of that is getting rest, getting good sleep. So you know that that's when it's time. Maybe if someone asks you to go out at 11 o'clock, no one asks me to do that because I'm a mom and I would say no, but maybe if someone asks you, you can look at your time blocks and say, you know what, I really can't. I Maybe let's do something on a different time of the in the um, month or in the week. And then you can schedule out your day and your tasks based on these time blocks. Okay, I hope that that helped. Another nice feature is if you have other tasks, say on this day I have um, to go to the dentist or... This day I have to pick up the kids from school or pick up, let's say, pick up um, birthday supplies. You can say that. And then if you put your time blocking on top of that, you can say, you know what? I really have to reschedule this dentist appointment. Um, can I schedule it till 3 o'clock? Because that's when I'm available for appointments. Or if I have to pick up birthday stuff, maybe I can schedule it here with running errands. And then you start to become more efficient in your scheduling. That way you know at this particular time is when I have appointments, at this particular time is when I run errands, and you start to consolidate the tasks that you have so that you're more efficient. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can email me anytime at ashley at ashleyvarner.com. And again, there is more in-depth videos on tasks and other 
software that I use in the Thriving Mom Club, so you can check that out also. You, in, in to find that, you just go to ashleyvarner.com forward slash thrive. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great week.